Come on, go. Go ahead. Go on it. Go on it. Go on it. Steady. Steady. Good. 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 Go on it. Go on, girls. Go on, girls. Go on, girls. Go on, girls. Is it just uh, 35 random, for the first random ones that come through? Yeah. Not as easy as it looks, is it? It's okay, it's just a little bit fidgety. Yeah, that's it. to come for this one. Ah. Go on, go. Go on. Go on, Ed. Come on, my lovely. Come on. Go on, go. Go on, go. Too quiet, these. <laughs> they need some, they need some persuasion. Go on, go. Go on, Ed. Go on, Ed. Go on, go. Go on. 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 Do you want to do it from there or you'll put the bar in? Yeah, yeah I'll leave it. A bit easier. Okay. <laughs> yeah? We're taking bloods uh, with animal health today to see about blue tongue. Go on, go. I've got to get in with these and drag them around. Go on, it. Go on, it. Once one goes, oh yeah, probably, go on then. Come on, come on. Anyway, 35 samples they want, and we'll have a chat with a man after they're finished. There is a sequence to everything. Go on, go. Go on, go. Sorry. It's all right. We usually work from the other side. That's all right. There we go. Anyway, we've got some ear tags to do. Steady. Go on, go. Got our little uh, man gate in there today. <laughs> anyway, we're going to take 35 samples, blood samples, random 35, the first 35 that come through, it doesn't matter. And then I guess they're going to take the samples away. And they're looking to see if any of them have blue tongue. And uh, the gentleman at the end will tell us all about it. I don't think it's something we have around here, but we don't know. <clears throat> go on, get. Go on, get. Go on in. Go. Last one? Yep, last one. Oh. Come on, go. Come on, go when they want it. Come on. Hi. 
Maria. Yeah. How much do you have to take? I'd say the bottom of the label. Yeah. But I just go extra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't, 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 yeah, exactly. Can't complain they want more, can they? Yeah. It's always better to get more than. Yeah. Yeah. We had a load of blood. Didn't we, farmer? We had a load of bloods done, and uh, a lot of them come back um, null and void, you know. Really? That come back and do some more it, oh yeah. it's a real pain in the butt <laughs> right. and it gets to a point they say there's gospel in it we've got to put the kids on it's all a sort of how many we have left 15 16 they didn't do something like that mm. that was on the second test wasn't it yeah and they, they, they just like they left them fast, they did. And then they're like, and people are like, you're going to do something, you're fucked. It's best practice, it's not there. So, we've got to do it. We've got to just get on and do it. As much as it irritates me, I, I can't, you couldn't make that way. Come back and done a second one, didn't you? But, all yeah. the time, I'm learning things all the time. Because what then, of course, with the damage task, you're going to get a few things that are not quite right, a few things that are So, you do that in the summer, and you're like, one in each group, or two in each group, but you've got to do so you can base everything up in each group. That means it pays you days and days and days. And if you agree to that, it literally just ties you up for weeks and that. We're trying to do other things, aren't we? Mm. And I'm saying then, you can do it, you can come whatever you want, but you've got to come away in the chat. I'll do as many blood tests as you want. I don't want to come and do it sort of their own. On the last time we get to it, on the very last test, there was 10 outstanding, weren't there? Yeah. That never ever got done. They never ever got done. They never come back. They, they look. They've done it. And I said, what was the point of that? What, why did you put them through? To not do 10. Are you going to come yeah. back and do them? That's my reaction. Are you coming back to them? Oh, no. No. No, what's the point of that? You're done with that. I'll just explain a little bit because it's a little bit odd for the people who are here. But Linda got a, um, Linda got a phone call. Um, at the start of last week from Animal Health they wanted to come and look for blue tongue in the herd uh, we're not too sure why uh, we don't you know it's not something we've seen around here we've heard of the disease so I'm hoping to get a little chat with the man before he goes just to uh, see what it's all about they said it wasn't a compulsory test but if we didn't test them then they would put restrictions on us. So it's a compulsory test <laughs> in our eyes. If you're gonna, it's like putting a gun to someone's head, oh, we won't, <laughs> we won't shoot you unless you don't want to do it. <laughs> so I don't quite know what they were getting at with that. Anyway, they've done 35 random animals, cows. Uh, I believe he wants to know what sort of uh, areas they're kept in. Blue tongue is a virus within cattle and sheep and llamas and there's uh, goats I believe as well and yes it's spread by a biting midge and if a biting midge bites the animal that has blue tongue it will carry it around with him until he dies a month later and whoever he bites then on will, uh, will also then get infected with the virus blue tongue. It is of no concern to the, uh, the UK food market. It's, no, um, it's no, that's, that's what's on the website. You know, it's new to us really around here. We haven't heard a lot about it. I think they have it up north a little bit more than we have it here. Um, so we'll just chat with a man, see what it's all about. But I imagine it will be something that, you know, we just built the herd back up to 100 cows. Um, we're just a bit worried, you know. You've got the TV thing which we're finally clear of. And then now we've got this new blue tongue thing. I believe there's vaccines you can do for the cattle, but there's certain strains of blue 
Tong. Oh my goodness. It's a right confusing old mess. This is surveillance for mm -hmm. the Blue Tongue virus, mm -hmm. which has come over images from the uh, continent. And Blue Tongue, the virus, what, what does it do? And uh, how, it's how relatively, does it... there's about 20 different, we're all experts on vaccines now, aren't we, since, uh, oh, sorry, on viruses now after COVID. We've about 23 different types of Blue Tongue, oh. and each one will affect different species of animals to a greater or a lesser extent. Okay, so this one that we've got is Blue Tongue 3. Right. It's come over, it's really bad in sheep, it's not so bad in cattle, but because it's spread by a midge factor, yeah. if you've got it in the cattle, the midges keep it off, well, catch it off the cattle yeah. and spread it to the sheep. It's like a village in Africa, right? So the, the most impor important person to put under a mosquito net is the person with malaria, yeah. right? Because they'll infect the mosquitoes yeah. or spread it to the other people. So it's a bit like that. So we're trying to find these ones which are reservoirs for infection. Yes. Right? Uh, and then look, nothing will happen to them. It's yeah. like if, if we find it here, it's just we'll just say, right, can we isolate this one? Put insect repellent on a yeah. plus mosquito net. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And isolate it for 30 to 60 days. And, they... uh, and the virus, does the cow get over the virus? Uh, cow, yeah, mostly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, nearly what, always. What, what I don't understand. This great thing through all these hoops. We're, we're alive, we're doing. Absolutely alive, we're doing. So we're jumping for all these hooks. And do you get blue tongue? And, and what, where will we get? It's just dangerous. To me, it's mad. You give us old boys all the world. Give us? Give us old boys all the world. Actually, and all the hours that can go as well. I, I think what it is, is what we're trying to do is stop it from spreading to different parts oh, of the country. Mm -hmm. right? so, but if you've got, I'll go to Hall and I'll get a policy. I'll show you 40 deer in an hour. There's 65 deer in a hill. Yeah, I agree. But right, so we've got three outbreaks in Wales, right? And they are through trade. So people have sold rats, they've gone to Wales, they have blue tongue, they went down with the rats. And what we don't want to do is get those uh, midging in Wales. They come from Norfolk. They, they, they had three outbreaks in Wales. Yeah. Rams come from Norfolk. Well, definitely, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they've imported from Norfolk to Wales. The, and the deer, right. the deer won't travel that far. No, no. So, uh, and is there any health issues um, with it getting into food chains and stuff no, like no, that? No, no, it's not zoonotic. So why are we looking so hard for it? If um, it's just the, a the virus? First, first of all, it's, it's an open disease, so it'll, it'll affect international trade for mm, sure. Yes. So you, you, you know, you were not blue town free. Right. So that people will, it will mock the trade a little bit in beef, but in sheep, it's massive. It's, it's really bad. Like right. Morbidity and immortality is really bad. So it's kind of to protect the sheep industry. Yes. And uh, to tell you the truth, I think APHA is doing a really good job because they're trying to divide the country in two. And the East can trade with the East. You know, they're sort of, this is why mm. we're trying to find this edge area. Yeah. The East can go that way. Yeah. Uh, trading. I know there's always going to be problems, but it gives a, it keeps trade going. Yeah. And the West can trade with the West. If anybody, if any farmers see this, if you see the most common sign I've seen in cows is like this four-footed lameness. They can't, they're really hesitant about putting their feet down. Okay. Uh, it's like they've got, a, they've got a guts full of barley or something like that. Yeah. Um, or, but it, 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 it's laminitis, I'm sure it is. And yeah. They, they've mostly got a slight temperature. Yes. 39.5 up to 141.5. Yep. If you see one like that, give us a ring, we'll come and test it. Mm -hmm. All right, because obviously we don't want it to, to spread. We don't want it, we don't no, want it no. to spread into images. No. Um, uh, and they're most worried about the sheep, you say, getting into the sheep. It's, it's, and it's, is it killing the sheep, is it, the on virus? The, on the continent, so this is again another thing. We seem to be getting away with it on the sheep this year. They're sick, but on the continent, they've got really high mortality rate. Right. So, and it's the same virus. It's, it's midges that have blown so over you. Is so. it affecting breeding then? Is it affecting fertility it, it, and stuff like that? Yes, probably. Yeah. And I say that because it's last year, it's the same strain that was here last year, and there was no signs at all in there. And this year, we're getting some signs. Right, so slightly mutating slightly. If we if we spot the disease and we protect with a, a net or something to stop the midges going in. A chemical net. Yeah. We're but, stopping the spread of disease and that's what it's all about. It's not it's not about the slaughter of animals. No, and, nothing gets killed. But then, but then what the hell do you do if you if if you do a spot on things like this? Do you just need bite from one midge? Is that what we, is that what they're saying? You need one midge to bite an animal? Theoretically, yes. Yeah. So you need to get and the uh, midge will last for a month, won't it? Yeah. And that'll... What we need is some cold weather. Because yes. even though, like in January, when the sun's shining, you look on the muck heap and you can see midges over it. Yeah. But it's, the, the, the virus is inactivated in the midge over when it gets cold. So it cools down. So the virus, even if the midge 
uh, is active. Is active. Uh, the virus, the virus in it won't be. And what, what we need to do is we need to get to that cold weather stage, right, and then we can sort it out. There's a vaccine. There's three different vaccines, I think. Yeah. I, I think there are about eight. Good. Yes. Something like that. So Would you advise people to uh, vaccinate? I'd say you, you discuss it with your private. Mm -hmm. right? uh, everybody's circumstances change. I guess there's a limited amount of vaccine, probably. You're going to be in different parts of the country. You've got different flocks or different herds, so your vet will know best. Hmm. Yeah. And, it, but it caution, and with that, what, what happens if they're vaccinated then? They can't spread the disease from then on. Yeah, no, they can. But they can. But the, the fallout from that, it's not the same thing about time market. The fallout, where these guys can't travel, then what's it? It's, 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 Honestly, it's a nightmare. And, that, and that, that's the idea. So they, they've divided the country into three at the minute. They're right on the border, you see. That's the problem. That's they're the on the border. They're on the border of Buckinghamshire and Oxfordshire. So they've got stuff coming in from Buckinghamshire, you can't do it. All of a sudden, you're ready to get half the trade down in. And he was saying to me, we've been sitting there yesterday, he said, well, I'm near this guy. I said, no, I said, what? And I said, gosh, I'm not riding around in there. 20 minutes later, we've got uh, animal arms going there. Oh, no. <laughs> and then we came. But, yeah, but that was, yeah, but that was because, you know, they wanted to come. And then they would, he, this lad was saying to me, you will come next week. And I said, look, I'd rather you come. And he said, well, we'll come Saturday or Sunday. And I said, well, I'd rather you come tonight. And he said, well, you can do it then. And that's how the conversation went. Just purely because I know next week, hopefully, if it stays nice, we're going to be busy. You'll be killing it. <laughs> the one time it stays dry. It's <laughs> <laughs> always the way, isn't it? Everything falls on that one week. It, it inevitably causes problems. So I went to this one place, really, really, really high quality dairy farm. Interesting. Brilliant thing. Yep. <laughs> and uh, they were down TV. And the, the, the unit that they sold their calves to was Western. So if they'd gone down with no town, why? And what do they do then? Because they can only sell to the east, and they, I don't think there was a unit right. east of them. Hmm. So, unfortunately, they were taken. Those are the problems. Chaps, I've taken enough of you. Yes. You've got a, Thank you. a whole load to do. Thank you for that. I'd love to see the bill. You're going to say no, it's a pleasure. It seems like. Uh, Everyone's talking. No, I. I, I, I uh, that's going to be something very difficult to control. There we go. A little bit on blue tongue there. We'll see what the results were. We'll we'll, uh, we'll fill you in at the end. See what they uh, want to do. What they're hoping for is if they find anything with blue tongue, they want um, you know they want you to segregate it so you, the midge can't bite it and spread it elsewhere. So that's what I get from it. But I don't know. We'll see how this one plays out. Usually these things don't end well, do they, Mister? We've got we got fish in there. Put it over her head and keep running. Yeah, we'll put a hair net on her. She'll look lovely. We've got a few more ear tags to go through. So the, ra the rest of the animal is going to run through the crush quick. We'll do the ear tags. We're going to mark the cold cows. They will be off soon next week, I believe. They'll be picking them up. Uh, what else have we got to do? We've got five or six heifers in here with no bum tag numbers. So we just want to uh, note down who they are. So when the man comes to mark the bums on the young heifers, uh, he'll come and do those as well. So there we go. That was animal health. Uh, come and done the testing. The uh, little bloods will now go off to a lab. They will put them in a cool box and they go off pretty quick. They got to get them uh, to the lab pretty quick for testing. And um, yeah, we'll tell you what the result was on it. But uh, it's a new thing to us around here. We don't hear a lot about it. We've heard about the disease blue tongue, but we, you know, we, we don't hear of people having it or having any bad issues with it just yet. So it sounds like it's something on the move and something that probably needs to be watched. So there we go.